Hello Stampers! I'm Dina Lanzendorf at Income with Dink and I am so excited. I just received the new die cut and embossing machine so I wanted to do a little bit of a box opening with you um, so you can see exactly what you'll be getting. So I've already opened the box that far and these are the, so there's a quick start guide, there's a platform and there are some of the cutting pads in here. And there it is. So also in the bottom is the handle for it. So let's see how easy this, oh, it is so much lighter than the Big Shot. That is amazing because the Big Shot is, I always thought was kind of heavy. And here is my handle. And there's a couple little things here that looks like the cap and some little pieces here in the bag. So let me read up on how to put the handle on and I'll be right back. Okay, so basically step one is putting your handle on. So the handle was separate, you slide it on like that. Next comes the washer and then the little screw Okay, so put the washer on the screw, slide that in there. Then you have your little Allen wrench to screw it on. And just screw it on till the screw is tight. And then this is the little cap piece that just goes right on the end there to cap it off. So it looks just like this when you're done. Okay, now that the handle is on, you open it up, okay? And it kind of has like some noise that it makes because it feels like it's a little bit of a a spring okay so that kind of opens it to the first level and then opens the rest of the way okay now for your different layers in your big shot there's a couple uh, well let me show you what came in the pack so this is the platform okay this is your main platform that you will be using it has different sandwich layers on here for whatever you're putting in it so it tells you exactly what to use it tells you what numbers one two and three and you will notice that all of the pieces are numbered up in the corner so it doesn't get any easier than that okay so this tells me that for a die okay which I have a die here so let's try this out it tells me I'm going to need number one number two which is this one right here, and then two number threes. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on like we're ready to use it. So number three, and look at the new cutting plates. They are always so pretty and clear when they're brand new, and then it just takes one time through and they get messed up, but that's all right. It shows they're well loved. So let's do like that. Um, place die cutting edge down, okay, is what it tells you to do. So that's what I did. So you know on your dies, you have ridges. That's the die cutting edge. So these you place die cutting edge down. Put my other plate on here. I'm gonna crank it through. Now it is new, so it's gonna make a little bit of noise really not bad at all pull this up and there we go perfect job one time through love it all right so now let's try some embossing so here is using with a standard embossing folder always insert hinge 
first, which is one thing I have always told you guys when you're using an embossing folder, always put it in fold first, okay? So this says, insert embossing folders hinge first, use with standard embossing folders. Okay, so a number one, and then two number threes. So a number one, two number threes. So this is a standard one that's not a thick one. It's gonna put this in here. Fold first. Put a number three on top. Let's see how that one turned out. Perfect, great pressure, perfect and even, okay? So now let's try one of the thick 3D embossing folders, okay? So Stampin' Up! has two different kinds. They have the real thin ones, which are very flimsy, and then they have the super thick ones um, that are just really thick. They're called the 3D embossing folders. So with the 3D ones, you need a number one, and you need plate number four. I haven't used four yet, so here we go. This is number four. So it shows my platform first. Whoops, down here, my platform first, my embossing folder with my cardstock, and then number four on top. So there's that. Here is my embossing folder with my cardstock, and you know you can always line it up along the line that they give you, and that guarantees you it's straight. And number four. So this is actually taking the place of the blue cutting plate that um, we had before with the Big Shot. Oh my gosh, it puts it through so much easier. <coughs> and there you go, perfect, looks great. Love, 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 love the new machine. It is super easy to use. And I did wanna show you Ta-da, there's our first marking on it. Put it through here, you can probably see it better. Our first marking of it um, as I put it through. So you know your plates will get really covered and loved um, with use. So the final thing I wanted to share, I know some of you still have some of the really old Sizzix dies that we used to sell. So I just wanted to show or see, I guess, if we can use them on this too. So this is one of the old dies. This one's the berry basket. So it used to be you'd put a cutting plate, is that how it was? And a thick die and some cardstock and then a cutting plate. So let's see how it does. So it's going through, no problem. Oh yeah, see that really messed up my plate too, but oh, look at that, it cut it out like butter. Look at that, amazing. All right, so there you go. That should convince any of you. If you were wondering how it was going to do, that we can definitely use all of our old dies, anything that we have through this machine. So, demonstrators were able to order it in August. It will go live to customers in September. So keep it in mind, put it on your wish list, um, but I think it is going to be a fabulous thing to have. Um, and again, it folds up like that, and it's super light to carry. It's not near as heavy as the Big Shot was. Um, so there you go. There is our new die cut and embossing machine.